parks, marinas, and golf courses are now open for use, but with new restrictions. And we have live team coverage with Ian Margle in Fort Lauderdale, but we begin with local 10 News reporter Christina Vasquez with a look at how it went today in Miami-Dade. Christina. And you can take a look for yourself live. We have been all over this county, and what we found is what you're seeing right here. Folks coming to enjoy the amenities as staff are walking them through the new rules. This midweek soft launch of open spaces, bringing a feeling of calm to Jackie Smith and her daughter Megan at Matheson Hammock Marina. We needed it. <laughs> yes. Needed to get out of the house. That sense of renewal. Oh, it feels good. Also expressed by Oscar Gonzalez. It feels a little bit like a step back into the direction of normalcy. Following the rules at Tropical Park with his solo hoop play. And Sheba Anderson showing gratitude for her new job the county hired 400 people to help with enforcement. How are you? I'm great. Glad to be back working. From Crandon Golf at Key Biscayne, rules there include one person per cart, to a sky 10 view of an open flamingo park in Miami Beach, police are on patrol. Take a look with reminders like face coverings are required. Social distancing must be respected as we open up more of the great outdoors. We're gonna approach keeping a social distance and try to get compliance. If we do not get compliance, these are criminal offenses. Now the mayor of Miami-Dade County, Carlos Jimenez, is looking forward to the release of recommendations from a working group thinking through how to reopen non-essential businesses, restaurants, hotels, and attractions. Our work is uh, pretty much done. Uh, it'll be done in the next day or so. And then uh, we'll be working with the governor's office. We'll be announcing some kind of a phase one, which is prepare to open. And as we just heard from the governor, given that South Florida continues to lead the state in cases when it comes to reopening businesses, we will be on a different timeline than the rest of the state. Reporting live for you tonight, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.